Hello, the first thing you're probably noticing is that this video is in black and white. So let me just explain that really quickly. Uh, the video is in black and white because I've never made a black and white video. And I thought it would be really cool to make one in black and white. So this video is a response, or rather um, to a comment that I just got very recently um, today. I got this comment and I thought, oh, I should just make a video about this comment right now because it's awesome. You know, I get a lot of comments here on the channel and sometimes I get really, really good comments and I, I let me just make this video. So I'm going to read the whole comment, uh, but the key point is this. Let me just skip to the key point and then I'll start from the beginning. Every human being who's a part of society is every bit as important as you. No more, no less, never forget that. And I was like, wow, great comment. And I replied, so let me read the comment from the beginning. One way you become an elitist is thinking you're in some way superior because you're good at something. Writing a book and starting it by assuming the reader knows abstract algebra isn't that. It's just a practical decision about what audience you're focusing on in that particular work. Being aware you have skills X and Y and putting that to a useful purpose is perfectly okay, but you have to be constantly vigilant to not let get to your ego. Every human being who's a part of society is every bit as important as you. No more, no less, never forget that. So I just wanna make this video to talk about this comment because it's so good. So the first sentence, one way you become an elitist is is thinking you're in some way superior because because you're good at something so that's an example where i mean you can directly apply that to mathematics right and i kind of feel i don't know if i was ever if i ever had that feeling but i'm, I'm thinking back i'm thinking back i'm sure there were times when when i was a math major um so i was very very competitive i was very competitive and I always tried to, to get the highest grade in the class. And that didn't always work. It was very, very rare. Very rarely would I ever get the highest grade. Sometimes I would, uh, depending on the class. But that was one way for me to do well, was to try to like be the best. And when you try to be the best, when you try to be the best you can be, um, usually the worst case scenario isn't so bad. And I think that's what I'm trying to say here. And that's, that's what you should take away from this, right? If you're in, if you're in a class or you're just doing self-study, or anything, right? If you just try to be the best you can be, you know, the worst case scenario usually isn't so bad. Um, sometimes it doesn't work out, but most of the time, if like you really aim to be like number one, um, then, you know, usually things work a little bit better. So yeah, it's not good to think that, you know, you're superior to someone else because, because you're good at something. People have different skills. And then this is something that I have, I feel like I've learned this over the years. There's different types of intelligence, okay? So some people are very good at mathematics, but other people are very good at other things that you might not be good at. I mean, for example, there's people that are very good with their hands. Um, they can put things together, um, you know, so they have a talent, right? People have different skills. Writing a book and starting it by assuming the reader knows abstract algebra isn't that agreed. It is just a practical decision about what audience you're focusing on in that particular work. I agree, and that that's a big deal, right? Because if you're, uh, you know, writing a book, um, right, on, on on abstract algebra, right, like a graduate level book, let's say, you're going to assume that the reader has already had a full course on algebra, algebra abstract algebra, and so you'll be able to you know, just quickly gloss over the definition of a group and some of the fundamental properties of groups. And then just, you know, you can do everything, like dumb it in foot. It really condenses it um, at the beginning and just covers it really quickly. And then it gives you tons of exercises, which is great. It's a graduate abstract algebra book called Dumb it, by Dumb It and Foot. It's a great book. Um, definitely recommend it. Being aware you have skills X and Y and putting that to a useful purpose is perfectly okay but you have to be constantly vigilant to not let get to your ego. So here I agree, and I also disagree. So I agree, um, yes, you know, putting putting that to a useful purpose is perfectly okay. Uh, the constantly vigilant part. So I, I, I think, I think what happens is. So he's right. I mean, you know, 
to not let it get to your ego. But what happens is for most people when they do math, they get to a point where the math gets so hard that they're just like, oh, oh, wait, that's hard. Wow, I really don't know what I'm doing. And <laughs> you know, people, you will get there if you if you haven't been there yet, because I know some people haven't. There's probably people watching this video and listening that are probably really good at math. And they've always been really good at math and they haven't reached a point where like they felt completely lost. Um, I remember when I reached that point where I was like, okay, yeah, this is this is really tough. And it really it it crushes your ego. It's like, wait a minute, you know, math is tough, you know, it's it's humbling. Mathematics is very, very humbling. That's what I think. Uh, because it's so difficult. Every human being who's a part of society is every bit as important as you. No more, no less. Never forget that. Wow. Wow. What a comment, right? What a great comment. Um, and, I, and I just got this comment. It says 11 hours ago. Uh, edited. The person edited the comment. And I just hearted it and replied, wow, great comment. So I wanted to make a video just to talk about that comment because I thought it was really interesting. And yeah, every human being who's a part of society is every bit as important as you. No more, no less. Never forget that. Wow. Wow. What, what, what a statement. Um, yeah, just amazing. So this book, oh, uh, and again, this video is black and white because, um, well, the app I use, we're going to take a look at the book, but let me just say that the app I use um, to record, it's, it's weird, but it's not a very good app. And anyways, there's a button on it. I pressed it because I was trying to fix the focus. It's not very good. And everything turned black and white. So I thought, why not? Let me just make a black and white video. I mean, how weird is that, right? So why not? But the comment was just epic. And I thought I would make uh, this video to talk about it. But let's look at this book here, Successive Differentiation. What's that about? So this book, I've talked about this book before in the past. This is a famous book. It's called Calculus Made Easy. And it is by Sylvanus Thompson and Martin uh, Martin Gardner has some words to say. It's a wonderful book. It has answers and it's meant for people who want to learn calculus on their own. This is a very different approach than what you would see in your textbook. So I feel like this is a book that will never be reproduced. No one will ever write a book like this because I feel like the audience of this book I don't know. I don't know. It's just different. Like if you're in a calculus class and you want to learn more calculus, yes, this book will help you. Yes, it's going to give you some perspectives that you won't find in your current calculus book. But at the same time, if you're trying to do better in your calculus class, the best thing you could probably do is just do more exercises from your book uh, and just grind them out because that's probably what you'll see on tests and stuff like that, right? So that'll probably help you more in terms of your grade. But if you want to really, really understand calculus and get a different perspective, then this is the book for you. And I'll try to leave a link in the description. This book is very affordable. This is an older edition. Okay, it's an older edition. Calculus Made Easy. Yeah, Sylvanus, P. Thompson, FRS, and Martin Gardner. Legendary book. Legendary book. Look at this. Geometrical meaning of differentiation. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Here it gives you... A geometrical interpretation, which is really cool, right? It does it a little bit different than a lot of the other books do it. So if you're in, um, you know, a calculus class and you have a book, this is going to be very, very different from from the book that you have. Okay, from the book that you have. But again, um, it's a different book, right? It's a different book for for just people who really want to understand calculus for the sake of understanding it. Calculus is a very beautiful subject, and it's used all over in multiple, you know, areas. Um, it's, it's a great, it's one of the great inventions or what great discoveries, um, you know, in mathematics, right? The calculus there's, there's books. There's actually older books on calculus called the calculus. I have books that are called the calculus because when it came out, it's like, Oh, the calculus, let's write a book on the calculus. I always thought that's, that's a pretty cool way to call a calculus book. No new books are called the calculus. Anyways, cool book and, and great comments. I should just end this video. Uh, but great comment. And again, that, that quote was, every human being who's a part of society is every bit as important as you, no more, no less. Never forget that. Just really deep, deep comment. But by the way, the comment uh, was a reply to my video, Math People Are Elitist. That's a, um, a video I made because um, I, I showed a bunch of books and the books were books that people consider, um, you know, 
perhaps, you know, some people look at the books and they say, oh, these books are like elitist. Like, you know, the Rudin books, uh, the Al Fors book. Um, and I also had uh, another Bourbaki book. I had the Cartan book there, I believe. The Cartan book was uh, in the video. The Cartan book has been reprinted by Dover. It's a book on uh, complex variables. I don't have the reprints. I don't know if it was changed. I know that the original book, which I have, um, starts just like, <laughs> it's like, let K be a commutative field. Like it's pretty, it's pretty intense for a complex variables book. But anyways, I digress. Until next time, good luck. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.